Hello everyone. In the present video, I will discuss about Lewis Cossard's social conflict and social change. In this video, I will particularly discuss about his idea of social conflict, how he analyzed social conflict in the contemporary industrial society. So he basically argued for functional aspect of the conflict in the advanced industrial society. That means conflict is not dysfunctional, conflict is functional in the advanced industrial society. So this particular aspect we will try to understand and there will be another video uh, in that I will discuss about how the conflict may bring social change in the society. So today's uh, discussion in this video will be regarding his idea of conflict in the advanced industrial society. So let us begin. Levi Skozer focused on two important dimension of conflict in the advanced industrial society. One is conflict in the system and another one is conflict of the system. First I shall explain about conflict in the system. Conflict in the system means conflict within a particular industrial system or within the uh, industrial structure. So in analyzing this conflict in the system, Lewis Coser focused on how conflict may develop creativity and innovation. So Coser linked conflict with innovation and creativity. Second important thing what Causer focused is institutionalized conflict. How the conflict is institutionalized in the advanced industrial society. So I will extend these points in the discussion. First thing is that conflict may develop innovation and creativity. According to Causer, if there is conflict within the industrial system and within the industrial structure, it will put pressure on the management of the industry. It will put pressure on the workers of the industry to develop the skill, to develop the skill further or, or to develop the more innovative technology, more innovative systems and mechanisms of the production. Here Causer took the example of uh, mining industry in the USA where due to the conflict between trade unions and the management, the development happened. The development of technology that is mechanized mining developed. So it means that because of the conflict, the management also thinks, management also thinks about the improvement of the work, improvement of the uh, production, innovation in the production, innovation in the technology, so that it may reduce the cost and provides security to the workers. Because who mainly starts conflict? the working class. Working class comes into conflict of interest with the management, with the, with the authority in the industry. So when they feel that their wage is low as compared to their work, when they feel they have less security, they have less protection in the industry, so they may come into conflict through, through their organization called trade union. And in this process, according to Lewis Causer, the industrial authority or the management may thinks of further capital investment on the technology, on innovation, on improvement of the work environment. So this is how according to Lewis Causer, the conflict may bring innovation and creativity. This conflict actually 
uh, actually uh, prevents prevents the habitualized stagnant culture of work in the industrial society because industrial society is constantly moving forward and towards the more towards more advancement how it happens it happens because of the inside conflict of interest inside differences due to the differences of uh, interest due to the conflict of interest due to the uh, due to the difference of ideas there may develop further innovative mechanisms of production innovative mechanisms of the technology and there may further develops the skills of the people so creativity and innovation develops because of the conflict another important thing which levis kozar focused is institutionalized conflict that means conflict in the advanced industrial society is institutionalized it is not something uh, unauthorized or illegal the conflict is here authorized legal because this conflict is regulated under a particular bureaucratic structure for example in the advanced industrial society there are numbers of trade unions exist and these trade unions through proper mechanisms comes into conflict with the management they don't do the protest or any kind of the uh, oppose opposition randomly they do it under certain process so it is basically institutional it also follows certain rules regulations certain instruction instruction certain procedures if the demands of the workers put by the trade unions before the management or the authority then it they uh, it, it, they, they made it through proper procedure so whenever any kind of conflict of interest happen that that is institutional that is between the trade union and the management it is not something the conflict between two groups it is basically the conflict between two distinct body of organization distinct body of the bureaucracy or administration so this kind of conflict is necessary according to levis kozar in the advanced industrial society otherwise the advanced industrial society may not move further there may be stagnation there may be habituation and there uh, may not be the further improvement of the creativity and skill and innovation among the workers among the management among the uh, staff of the industry or among the members of the industrial society so to develop the industrial society more to make it more efficient more innovative more technologically developed there must be difference of interest there must be conflict of interest within the industrial system and we may take the example of the present contemporary industrial society present contemporary industrial society we see as a developed uh, more advanced progressive society even if there is problem among the workers there is issues among the workers even if there is dissatisfaction among the workers but this dissatisfaction again resolved through proper mechanism this is called reconciliation collective bargaining between the organizations so whenever any kinds of issues develops it got resolved and this resolving of issue does not mean that the problem is undermined problem is not undermined here authority give focus to improve the situation so in this way the industrial society is progressing towards more advancement today that is why we don't see any kind of violence any kinds of deadly conflict or revolution in any society it may it may arise it may arise if the industrial system fails in making innovative ideas creative ideas in uh, developing innovative systems and creative system then there would be there would be uh, disastrous outcome maybe in the form of the more violent 
conflict there may be the more revolutionary movements so actually in the current contemporary global world the more advanced society industrially advanced society are in operation because of the constant innovation constant growth in the creativity and innovation and according to lois kozar this is because of the conflict within the system so that is how this conflict within the system may be functional for the advanced industrial society so i will continue this discussion in the next video thank you very much